Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, we welcome our ambassador from Parnell, Kevin Harvey. Kevin, along with his father Les, began the creation of the Parnell Village back in the early 70s. Today, it remains one of New Zealand's top tourist attractions. Kevin! What a wunderbar year. Wunderbar, Kevin Harvey from Parnell. Yeah. Kevin, um, another, this, uh, another year closer to death. You know, all year I've said that you're the second most handsome man in, in New Zealand. Yeah. And today it remains true that you are the second most handsome very, man in very New Very, very marginal. But extremely handsome. Actually, when I go and have my hair cut, I go to sleep because I can't bear looking at all the sagging face oh. and the jowls. So I actually go to sleep and my head droops forward and the hairdresser has to nudge me awake. Something wrong with I your can't, eyes. I you can't, can't bear looking in the mirror. You're an extremely handsome man. <laughs> Something is wrong with your eyesight. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> now, Kevin, um, mm. last show of the year, last show of yep. the year, I'd like to thank you personally. Thank you. Because you have been one of the stalwarts. You know what is a stalwart it, is? Is it? Have there been more than one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's been more than one. But you've been one of the stalwarts. <laughs> yes. Without you, Kevin, the beat goes on could not have um, continued. You've been a wonderful, wonderful. I realise I'm a major contributor. Yeah, you're a major contributor. <laughs> You've done it for the baby boomers, haven't you, Kevin? <laughs> yes. But Kevin, no, you have got a wonderful, wonderful um, property in the sense uh, I call it a property, but it's a huge property. It's called Parnell. That's your kingdom, yeah. isn't it? That's well, where you reign as the king of the king of Parnell. Yes, actually, it's our passion. Mm. I wouldn't even call. I wouldn't call it a kingdom. I'm, a kingdom, I'd call, I would. I'd, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd call it a passion. Um, King Kevin. No, no, <laughs> nothing like that. No, my ego was crushed years ago, <laughs> and I, I wouldn't dare say that it. I blame it on the woman. But anyway, my ego is definitely crushed. Um, no, but I, I do. I find myself actually very much like my dad now. You know, when it comes to knocking off, I think, oh, I'll just wander up and down the road, and I'm just enjoying the. The beauty of the place, and mm -hmm. I'm I'm loving watching all the people going to restaurants and going to bars. In fact, even even last night, I just suddenly got bored at about four o'clock. So I called up my old mate, my, my chippy mate, and Johnny, and uh, we just went down to Non Solar Pizza, and uh, I had a couple of glasses of wine. It just about floored me, and uh, <laughs> and we had some uh, some beautiful oysters from from Waiheke, beautiful rock oysters. Mm -hmm and a couple of raw prawns <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it was bloody nice. Good on you, you know, And I was just, and then I went home and um, I went to sleep watching the news and I woke up and read for a little while and then went back to sleep again. So I had a wonderful afternoon yesterday. <laughs> you are a true baby boomer because you sit down to watch television, gosh. It's, it's got to be the best drug, you know, they talk about uh, sleeping drugs, but what, sitting down to watch television, bang, you've The got trouble your... is, I've got this mate, very, he's always with me and his name's Arthur. Yeah. Arthur Writers. <laughs> right. So I go to sleep watching the news and then I wake up at about 11 o'clock when I should be going to sleep and the pain's extraordinary. So yeah. I stay awake until about, uh, probably about two or three o'clock in the morning. Um, and I finally go to sleep and then, of course, I have to wake up early and... I wake up exhausted, but so anyway. Yeah. But that's part of part of growing that's up. That's part of the fun, isn't and it? And being British. Of being, yeah. Now, Kevin, uh, you've got this wonderful coffee bar in um, Parnell called. Uh, yeah, it's called Johnny Ray. Johnny Ray. Um, what a great name for a coffee bar. Yeah, well, it's actually based on uh, on a um, on, on a on a guy. His name was Johnny Ray. Strange enough, yeah. um, and he was a creature of the depression, and he. Got sick of working, so he he built a boat, a beautiful, and he he lived down at Waiheke. Can't remember what year it was, I don't know. But anyway, he um he built this boat out of driftwood, um and then he just he maintained that anybody nobody should work for more than three actually a bit like yourself um <laughs> no more than three three weeks a year, <laughs> and there's a couple of books that have been put out, few editions, mm -hmm. wonderful story, of a sort of like a New Zealand icon. But anyway, it's a wonderful story. So he's named the coffee bar after that. It's it's where Kazim used to be. No, it, mm. yep. Yeah, and it's just a tiny little coffee bar and they make beautiful coffee. Um, fantastic. Another great addition to Parnell. Well, the whole place is humming at the moment yeah, and there's is, such a good feel. Um, yeah. And of course we, you know, 
we're meeting, aren't we? For, for, we are. Um, now, with, last, with, with last wild, Friday, mm, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin yeah. and I had a quick visit to the Blue Elephant uh, restaurant in um, Parnell. Yeah, with our and old friend with and our old tenant. friend Wayne, who's mm. been on the beat goes on with you, and um, mm. you'll see a photograph coming up very soon. And, and he's he's like, like like most of my tenants in Parnell. He's part of the family. Yeah, and part of what makes Parnell Parnell's what so it is. Special. And and so and he's a naughty old mate. Yeah, he's very naughty. He's very naughty. He's the third most naughty man in New Zealand. You're the second. I think <laughs> Wayne and I would be much naughtier than you, but we won't go into it. <laughs> Now, yeah, Kev, um, where, you get, where are you going to spend Christmas Day? I generally stay at my old place that I built 40 years ago, um, and just in Campbell's Bay, and all my family and grandchildren and God all knows what, up. they all come and visit me. And then I head up to Parkery, uh, to Parkery sometimes in the afternoon of Christmas, mm. because they all go off to their different families. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Kevin, we've had a wonderful... Uh, time together today and it's time to say goodbye yes but uh, that was great seeing you last um last friday at the blue elephant and we had fun and um yeah i'm going to wish you the best for 2017 and then there's another year following that kevin did you know it's called 2018 all righty yeah so well that'll be fun won't it have a good one man <laughs> <laughs> okay Thanks. i'll see you you too